Hello, I'm Nancy Alexander from Passion into Profits. My partner Linda Joseph and I are so very excited to be a part of a new venture. This exciting new venture consists of helping feed children in an orphanage in Burma. Linda and I were asked to set up their website and to take care of their marketing needs. Burma Bags of Hope is in desperate need. It is a nonprofit organization or an endeavor set up to support the 95 children who make this orphanage their home. They're, they make beautiful tote bags, as you'll see right here beside me, to help pay for food and for medicine and for all of the needs to support these 95 children. The goal of Burma Bags of Hope is to sell about 200 bags every month. And if they do that, they will feed the children and supply all of their needs. Um, so we have figured out that's selling about two bags per child to feed and take care of a child for an entire month. And that is amazing. Well, hello. Hi. My daughter Stephanie just dropped by just in time. And <laughs> look at what she's carrying. This was my very first Burma bag that I got before my partner Linda sent me in a new shipment. And Stephanie eyed this one from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I loved it. Um, when she came in today, and it was all, she, she has a three-year-old. When, when it was all loaded up, she comes in with one bag. I thought, oh, she's got to be on the video. So she's got to show you exactly what all she gets in her bags. Well, I loaded it up. Yes, you did. My son carries his stuffed frog everywhere we go. So I have Mr. Frog. Yeah, Froggy has to go. Yeah. I have his milk and my water. This thing is loaded, y'all. His tennis shoes. My makeup. My iPad. His two DVDs. Mmm, this is amazing. His video game. God, that's big. Yeah. <laughs> and then, for the things I carry every day, I have my coupons, my work keys, my wallet, my checkbook, and my everyday toiletry makeup type bag. Then I have... That's already bigger than that bag. Yeah. <laughs> it holds a lot. I have my hand sanitizer and my lotion. And then on the inside, in the little pocket area, I have my cell phone, my tissues, my gum, my Tylenol, hair bow, flash drive, and ink pens. And probably my favorite thing about the entire bag is this little key ring hook. It keeps my car keys and house keys on it, and I don't have to go fishing for my keys. That is amazing. So all of that came out of here. As you can see, there's plenty of room in it. It expands out. If you don't like the full size of the bag, the things that I carry every day, just slide right back in there. And then all of this slides right back down into the pocket. She's organized to y'all. Yeah, just slightly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she helps me with my business. And then it doesn't have to be as full. It's got a magnetic um, closure bit button. Yeah, yeah, snap right there. Put the keys back on. And um, the material on the outside, it is quilted. But it's not just the material quilted by itself. This is very stiff. It stands up on its own. So I would say there's two or three layers there. Yeah, you? I would think so. And um, the inside layer, if you can see in there, it's um, water resistant. So you can wipe it down if you have spills. Like I said, I carry his milk in, my, in there a lot. And it's actually bubbling up on top now where it was trying to leak out in there. So if it spills, no big deal. Take a baby wipe or a wet paper towel, wipe it down, and it's ready to go. So that one is the same size as those three. Okay. We've got... Um, now, one thing, y'all, when they make these bags at the orphanage, if you see one on the website I'm going to tell you about in a minute, you better buy it because they don't make 
6, 8, 10, 12 of the same bag. A lot of the time, each bag is a one of a kind. And this, mashed together, is the exact same bag as that. And I want to show you, when you open it up, the sides have folded in, the bottom has folded in, and look, that's amazing that that was the same bag. And when you want to store it, look how flat. And when you have your stuff down in the bottom, if you don't, and it just, it will hang over your shoulder very easily, tuck it underneath your arm, unless you have all of this stuff in there. I don't think I it don't would like carrying do multiple bags. I just I, I, I have a three year old. I, I've got too much other stuff to carry. I don't blame you. I carry it every day like this, um, with all of my stuff in it. It's good to go. If I have extra stuff from work, I throw it down in there. Getting out of the car, I throw stuff down in there. But if we're going somewhere I just grab everything up and throw it in and let's go. Yeah. Um, they've also started making a few other size bags. This is a little bit larger one. Um, they made a cute bow on it. Now this is a little bit softer. It's got a pocket in the outside. Got longer straps to hang a little bit further down on your shoulder. My little, my little grandson Austin just came in and walked around the camera <laughs> and got us to walk back out. <laughs> and now you've got a DVD in here. This holds a lot. Now, here's, here's one that's even larger I wanted you to see. I like see. that one. I like this one, too. Now, compared to that, now this, would, this is a, either a large tote bag. If you're, this would carry a laptop. It would carry anything. Now, it would also make a great diaper bag. Yeah, that's what I noticed. And then because of the, it has the, the closed button, but it also has the, the zipper closure. You know what? I didn't realize this had a zipper Yeah, too. it has the zipper closure. So, you know, it'd be great for like an, especially just throwing diapers and milk and oh, I like that. toys and stuff down for like a day trip or something. That'd be great. And I like a little pocket. You could put keys. Look at that. That even and extends. And it expands out. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. neat. Put your cell phone there and your keys there and zip it up and hang this over your shoulder and you're ready to go. Yeah, my husband would have enjoyed that. I had like seven diaper bags with my three-year-old. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> but um, you do like tote bags. I do. And you're an expert in tote bags. I, I have a selection. <laughs> you have helped some friends that have had businesses sell tote I bags. Do. So you know a lot about them. And when she first saw this one, she said, I love that bag. I do. Then when you got your hands on it, I want that bag. <laughs> <laughs> I said, just a little while. I got to take pictures, but yeah, I did. But I do love it. You love and it so much. Like I said, um, it's not your your normal everyday pocketbook. People wouldn't consider it to be an everyday pocketbook, but I use it as one, and I love it. And I like having the versatile atmosphere to where I can just throw extra stuff in it. Oh yeah. Well. I a lot of people would use it as a pocketbook. They just wouldn't have all of this extra stuff. <laughs> yeah. But it's nice to know that you can put that much in a bag like this. Yeah. And I've had people stop me. Where did you get your pocketbook? It's so cute. And they love the fact that it's quilted because that's a yeah. nice texture. And I can't stress strongly enough how thick and nice this is. But it's... Where's Frog? Here's Frog right here, darling. Here's Frog, darling. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. <laughs> that was Alston. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us today. And I want to tell you where you can go and look at pictures of these beautiful bags. It is www.burmabagsofhope.com. B U R M A B A G S O F H O P E.com. And remember, the purchase of two bags will feed a child and take care of their needs for a month. That's totally amazing, and we are so honored and blessed to be able to have been asked to help with this project. We'll see you later. Bye.